I'm gonna show this one because those three are some fantastic ones. This one is interesting because this is a PS2 jam pack, play 10 demos, and one of them is Need for Speed Underground. I will definitely be doing that and posting it on the channel soon. But, you know, it's also complete as well. Eight bucks for this one. There's a lot more at the store where I got this. So, I will definitely be collecting more of them. But yeah, there was some interesting demos in this one. There was also a demo for Whiplash, which I heard was an interesting um, game. So I'll be checking that out and posting it on the channel as well, maybe. If I have a good recording of it. But Need for Speed Underground, I'm definitely going to record for the channel, for you guys. There was also Finding Nemo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, DDR Max 2 Dance Dance Revolution, Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, Downhill Domination, NCAA Game Breaker 2004 football game, and an NFL Game Day 2004 football. So, those are the 10 demos on this one. So, yeah. Interesting, to say the least. Okay, let's see. Alright, this one. Hell yeah. If there is a Rayman game that I'm going to get, I am going to get them all, if I can. And I'm going to get them all complete in box. This one, this one was a timely find, because I would not even have noticed this was there if I didn't ask to check it out. Because at the start, when I saw the, the box, it was in, on a shelf, it was, it had the, it was sitting like this. All I saw was this. That was all I saw, because it was hidden under the, the upper shelf level, and it was sitting on a lot of games, so I couldn't see the top part. All I saw was this. And if I didn't ask to check it out, because I thought that this could have been like Rayman Advance, which I already have, but after I saw this, I knew that Rayman had Rayman Advance on the side for the Game Boy Advance version. Once I saw this Game Boy Color Rayman, I was not going to leave it there. I was going to pick it up when I was there. But I didn't just find this Rayman. I also found another Game Boy Advance Rayman complete in box, Rayman 3. Hell yeah. It's there because I have it on hold for next month, so you'll see it next month when I post that video. But I got this now because I, I was not going to pass this up. So yeah, let's take a look inside. We got inside the box here, we got the... The Game Boy Color game. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. So yeah, Game Boy Color. And there's the insert and then there's the manual. If you can get out, there's the manual for it. And something interesting I found on this is the fact that there's also U Ubi Keys. Ubi Keys. I did not know that this was a thing until I read this booklet. And it's basically something that you can collect in the game to unlock a secret level. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be checking that out. I will be doing like a playthrough on this on the channel. Either that or on my Rayman channel, link in the description if you want to subscribe over there because all future Rayman content will be posted over there as well. But uh, I will be doing this game as well. I just never played the Game Boy versions of these games. So like Rayman Advance when I played it on the channel for you guys, that's the first time that I played through the game. But because... I played Rayman 1 on the PS1 for so many years. 
I basically all already know how to play through the game. The only thing different, other than the visuals and the audio, is the cage locations. Quite a few of those cages are in different locations in the game, on the Game Boy Advance, compared to PlayStation 1. So, but this one is a bit different, because there are some different uh, looking locales in this one, compared to the original Rayman 1. So, it's basically the same type of game. It's it's looking a little more like the Rayman 2 beta from the PS1 version of The Great Escape. I'm happy I got this game. It cost me 70 bucks for this shit. <laughs> yeah. The other one, Rayman 3 Complete Box, is 45 But yeah, I'll be getting that next month. If you are into Banjo-Kazooie, this should be on your list for the Banjo games to collect. I finally got Grunty's Revenge on the Game Boy Advance complete in box. So let's open the box. We got the, the booklet right here. Yeah. And then we got this, which I found interesting. Alright, I don't want to rip it. We got a little poster of Grunty's Revenge. And then on the back we have Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. So, what's that about? <laughs> don't know why they would do that, but... When I put this in a picture frame, I'll obviously be showing this because, yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty interesting when I got this. And interesting fact about getting this game, when I was there to pick this up, because I had it on hold, the dude that runs the store was looking all over the store for this thing. Because he couldn't find it at all. And then I noticed a blue Game Boy Advance box that was sitting in a cabinet type that holds games inside. And this was stuck in the corner of that cabinet. And he, even he couldn't find it. But after I noticed the blue box, because I, I knew this case was blue, because there was a lot of blue on this box, I mean, come on. But after I noticed the blue box in the uh, cabinet, I pointed to it. He went there and he pulled it out and looked at it and, yep, that was it. I basically found it before him. So, but to be fair, I mean, can you really tell what game this is if all if all you saw was that? <laughs> this this was showing on the shelf. He wouldn't have guessed that this was the game. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm not even sure why they put that on the, that side and the name of the game on one side. But oh well. At least I found it for him. <laughs> I mean, come <laughs> But yeah. 32 minutes already. I'm going to be cutting some stuff out. Probably put this on the porch. Something like that. But yeah, let's get to the final game. Holy crap. This is... Outlaw Volleyball Red Hot. <laughs> okay. Yep, there's Donna Maroney on the cover there in her red devilish outfit holding a volleyball. This is a blockbuster exclusive. Hot new action, hot new outfits. Red hot, obviously. And then the back. Yep, we got harvest. And obviously full of red hotness. You eat this game, it's gonna burn your tongue. So <laughs> there's that. But yeah, this has also been resealed, so I'm going to be keeping this in the seal until the day that I take it out and 
start doing a playthrough of it. I don't know when that'll happen though. Cause I haven't played the original volleyball that much and I'm more of a golf and baseball person compared to volleyball. I have played volleyball in high school, but in terms of games, I don't really play a whole lot of them and I, I wouldn't really know a lot of how to do the game successfully without looking ridiculous. So <laughs> there's that. All right, so that's all the games that I've gotten in the past couple months. I don't know if I've forgotten one or two. No, I think that's everything. So I'm trading in some games and I'm getting new ones. So there's that. That's why my game collection changes often is because I'm trading in and getting new stuff and I'm collecting a lot of the older console stuff which is why I'm hardly getting new stuff new games and and because the new games they cost 80 plus dollars I'm not getting every single new game out there uh, I will be getting Super Mario Galaxy 1 on the Wii at some point probably next month I know one of you asked that you wanted to see a playthrough of that from me for Mario Galaxy 1 and possibly 2. The thing is, I don't even know if I'm going to be making it as enjoyable as some of the other uh, YouTubers out there have did, have played the game. So I don't even know if me doing a let's play of the game would be as enjoyable for you guys. But I'll definitely try it out. When I get the game, I'll give it a couple episodes try. And you guys can let me know if you want to see more of it or not. So, we'll go that way. If you'd rather see a walkthrough, I could probably do a full game walkthrough. Because I could definitely do that. It'll just take me a while. Because it takes a while to complete the game. And get every single star in the game. So, there's that. Not to mention that in Mario Galaxy, you also have the green stars, which prolongs the game even more. I mean, come on. So, yeah, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little part series of the, the new games I got. And yeah, let me know which one is your favorite that you've seen. Probably the red hot one. I mean, come on, so much hotness. <laughs> so yeah, and I'll see you next time. Later.